Hello, Hello Peach. Hello. Oh, went for a little fly. <laughs> Flight. <laughs> there he is. Hello, Peach. You gonna come down there and play with those sticks? Yeah, he will eventually. Peach has been working on the box there. Yeah. <laughs> You've been pecking on that. Yeah, we're willing to take lots of destruction when it, uh, when there is a uh, hope that he will uh, manage his uh, big trim. <laughs> if it would uh, uh, save him a trip to the vet, so. So yeah, he likes to go up there. Yeah, we haven't really got much on his way, so <laughs> whatever it takes. Hey guys, it's Dennis here. And there's Maple. <laughs> she loves attention and loves to get petted. Yeah, we're pretty excited, guys. We released a video a couple weeks ago about little Maple here, pet crow growing up. And the video is just rolling. It's doing really well. And there's so many new subscribers to the channel. Kulika and I thought we'd do a video and introduce all the new viewers to all of our birds. So we'll introduce you to Peach first. Yeah. Peach is the first bird that we actually had. He's he's almost four years old now. He was born sometime late May of 2015. So, and actually he, he lived here with us with no other birds for about two and a half years. So yeah, we rescued Peach from the bottom of a tree. Actually, there's a big story about that that we did a video and we'll put a link below, like the story of, of Peach, the pet crow here. And you can learn more about him and how we found him and everything. And there's Cherry. Cherry came in the, in the fall of 2017, like almost two and a half years after Peach. And the story about Cherry is he had a broken wing and he was brought to the Wildlife Rehabilitation Center here. And the director there called us and said, would we like a, a friend for Peach? Like she said, he has a broken wing, but he seems to be doing okay, and and then Peach can have a, some companionship. But Cherry was a wild crow. He lived in the wild, and he probably flew south for the winter one or two years, like in the winter, like we, we figure. But then poor Cherry broke his wing, and he can't fly anymore. So, and the story about him, we, we have a video about Cherry also on our channel. The story of a crow with a broken wing and that explains everything about cherry like we actually had it surgically repaired and we were hoping that maybe they could repair it to the point where he could fly and we would have released him but they made it so it's comfortable for him he has no pain or anything and it doesn't hang that low so he can never be released he's our responsibility now like we got to look after him but he, he's kind of nervous of us yet because he was wild. He's not imprinted on us like, like Peach is. But there he is. Check that video out if, if you've never seen it and you can learn more about Cherry. So here's Pie and Maple, two uh, most recent additions to our family. So we have had these birds since uh, last spring. So they are right now about uh, nine uh, months old. So this one here is uh, our sweet little Maple. She still hasn't uh, developed tail feathers, as you can see, but uh, otherwise uh, she's in excellent feather condition. Look at her. Look at her. Such a nice shiny plumage she has. <laughs> Such a cute little face. <laughs> and uh, here's little Pai. Pai is actually talking. <laughs> yeah, he says uh, quite a few sentences. So we just recently released uh, two videos that uh, summarize their stories, so we're gonna put the links below. So if you haven't seen those, please uh, uh, check them out. You will learn more about these birds. So yeah, those are all our four birds. But Peach was the very first. And actually, some people say that, uh, or ask, do we clip our bird's wings? We never have clipped any bird's wings, especially not Peach. Cherry has to have some clipping now and then because it hangs a little low and it gets dirty. But he can't fly anyways. But Peach, we've never touched his feathers or wings or anything. And he's capable of flying really well, actually. But since he's imprinted on us, like, 
We're responsible for him, and he doesn't want to leave anyways. We're, we're his flock members. Yeah, in some of our videos, you can see the gazebo door is wide open, and all the birds are happily inside, so they would never come out by their own, so. No. no. Unless they get freaked out about something, then you got to be careful, then, you know, they could fly out, or, or they can't really fly, but Peach is the only one that can fly, but... But this is dangerous, because uh, once they get spooked by something, then yeah. uh, they could get disoriented and uh, could get lost. Yeah. And uh, if they get lost, then uh, while imprinted birds in the wild, uh, they don't live long, so they will no. get in trouble, because they are not uh, afraid of their natural dangers, and uh, they will get in trouble and they end up getting shot or in some other trouble. Or later. other birds even attack them, or other crows and stuff. So. Yeah, they, they won't uh, normally get accepted by other birds. But he's a beautiful crow, that's for sure. So yeah, in regards to little pie, I forgot to mention that uh, um, pie's wings are kind of short, so you might have been wondering what happened. We never trimmed any of our birds' wings, so... Uh, how that happened was that actually he developed beautiful long uh, flight feathers after his last uh, molt. But then he started breaking them off one after another by doing some really wild acrobatics inside and outside of the cages. Both his own cage and uh, other birds cages. So he just likes climbing on the cages and then his wings were kind of touching the, the bars and that's how they, they all broke off, just one after another. So, so yeah, unfortunately he he can't fly right now very well neither because of that so peach has joined kulika there peach loves massages i also wanted to mention with so many new subscribers on the channel a lot of comments come like questions and and just statements and a lot of people say isn't it illegal to own crows because it is in the united states well it's not illegal here where we live in, in Canada. We live in the province of Saskatchewan. And all our birds are documented with the University of Saskatchewan, the veterinary college there. And that's how we found out that Mabel was a girl and the rest are boys. So if it was illegal, they wouldn't let us keep these birds. Like I said before, we adopted Cherry from the Wildlife Rehabilitation Center. They, they wouldn't be adopting birds out if they're illegal. So like, maybe it is illegal in your jurisdiction, but we don't all live in the same place. Last time I checked. So, so many just say that. So, you know, maybe it is where you are, but it isn't here. Yeah, actually, when we take uh, some injured or sick bird to the university vet here, then uh, the first question they will ask is uh, whether we want to keep the bird. So if we say, no, we don't want to keep the bird, then uh, we'll take the, the bird and we leave and the uh, bird will stay there. And then they're going to evaluate this bird. If the bird looks like it uh, might uh, be releasable, then they're going to do surgeries or, uh, or treat or whatever needs to be done to get that bird healthy. And then they will send the bird uh, to our local uh, wildlife rehab uh, for some uh, recovery and uh, healing. And then uh, the bird will get released later. Now, if they determine that the bird is not releasable, then, uh, well, that's the end of that bird, so they will uh, euthanize the bird. Now, if we say that we will keep the bird, then it will be up to us to pay all the medical costs. Yeah, I just forgot to mention before that uh, we would only be uh, allowed to offer a home uh, to a bird that's not uh, listed uh, on the list of protected species. For example, if we would uh, find a sick or injured raven, and they came to the vet, uh, we would not be allowed to keep that uh, raven. So they would uh, evaluate the bird and determine if he's releasable or not. And if he's uh, releasable, they would treat him and then send uh, to a wildlife rehab for recovery. But if he wouldn't be releasable, then he would be euthanized. So, and we couldn't do anything about it. So that's all our birds, guys. There's Peach getting a little beak rub. <laughs> There's Maple. It's about time for bed now. And usually little pie would say, get ready for bed. <laughs> Some of you new viewers don't know that. I'll put a link below to a video when pie was talking. He's not talking tonight, but yeah. And there's a big star right now here, Maple. She's doing really well. 
Let's take one last look at Cherry. There's Cherry. Yeah, if Cherry would have been able to, to fly after the surgery, we would have let him go. Like, we would have let him be free. Like, we would have took him back to the, maybe the wildlife rehab and told her to, to release him, you know. Because we feel bad for him. Like, he was wild and, and now he can't fly ever again. But we do our best to care for him. Yeah, we do the very best for him. Well, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and you learned some more about our birds. And if you're new here and this is the first video you're seeing, please subscribe to our channel. I'm sure you can find something on there that you'll enjoy watching. And also that notification bell. I say that many times. Click the notification bell so you're always notified when we get new videos out. So we'll see you in the next one, guys. There's Maple. Say goodbye, Maple. Mm -hmm.